The Illinois Department of Transportation has an emergency earthquake response plan. It's a response recovery and a mitigation plan for the state of Illinois. Uh, when an earthquake, a uh, catastrophic incident happens in the state of Illinois, IDOT will respond uh, with its northern districts to southern Illinois to support its southern three districts uh, in that response. Uh, we will bring uh, our uh, cache of equipment and personnel and uh, also our infrastructure uh, planning and stuff through the uh, bridge recovery plan. Uh, we have consultants, we have contractors on board and stuff like that to assess our roadways as we move forward. Uh, what we will try to do if there's a catastrophic earthquake off the New Madrid Fault is we'll try to push forward to the I-64 corridor, uh, working with the Mount Vernon uh, in the fairgrounds there with a memorandum of understanding. We will stage in that area and we'll move from that area out to our designated primary and secondary routes. Our primary role is to bring emergency response supplies and materials into the devastated area. What we'll do is we'll work in uh, conjunction with the counties and the municipal public works uh, to move uh, supplies south uh, on our primary and secondary routes. Our main goal is to open up access routes, critical routes to critical facilities, whether they be hospitals, um, uh, daycares, nursing homes, schools, uh, and work with the counties and stuff like that to get them what they need in southern times of disasters. Back in uh, April of 08, there was an earthquake, and of course, as you know, it's of a 5.4 on the Wabash Valley Fault. Uh, we hadn't planned for that. We planned for a New Madrid Fault, and we, in our uh, IDOT plan, it stated how the districts and stuff in the north would, would uh, actually go to the south and assist them. After the incident on the Wabash and stuff, we got to looking at uh, our other northern districts, the so District 1 out of Chicago and our District 2 out of the Dixon Quad Cities area, what they would do because they were also shook at, at that time. So uh, we looked at and stuff, uh, rewriting our entire plan because of the Wabash uh, uh, actual fault and stuff that had happened. And uh, by doing that and stuff, it opened up our eyes and everything like that of how we move emergency response, how we also coordinate with our memorandums of understanding with our trucking agencies, uh, and also with our petroleum marketers and stuff of how we would assist us with uh, you know bringing fuel with us. Uh, as we started to rewrite the plan, we thought, well, we need to also work into an exercise that we uh, that we needed to uh, perform because we hadn't done an exercise probably in about 10 years, a deployment exercise. So in October of 08, we did what was called iQuake uh, 08 and moved actually our response from in districts three, four, five, and six, all the way down uh, into Mount Vernon with the staging area that I talked about uh, to support seven, eight, nine. At that time, we set up an instant command structure with our mobile command vehicles, established communications, uh, contacted the State Emergency Operations Center, uh, set up a notification procedure through all of our uh, processes, and actually took uh, vehicles from our staging area out and ran uh, the primary and secondary routes. Uh, uh, giving them pieces of paper uh, and implementing um, uh, uh, impediments along the roadway so they would have to respond on what they would do. So it actually worked out real well.